Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance and I do hope you're doing well. Happy birthday Taurus, ringing it in here on 420. Uh, we are going to get into some general energies. Guys, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button for me. I appreciate it. It helps the channel and it does make your TT feel good, so please do so. Um, to book the personals, the information is in the description box or in the bio. Taurus, $10, 30-minute readings from now until May the 20th. Come talk to you, TT. Alrighty then. So, child song for today. Cameo. Strange. I think it's called Strange. Or maybe it's called She Strange. I don't remember, but I do know that it's um, it's not a bad thing to be strange. Um, who wants to be ordinary? Who wants to be like everyone else? Yes, it's called she strange. Who wants to be ordinary? Who wants to be like everybody else? Be unique. Be your own person. Be your own vibe. Okay, um, and that will definitely, definitely take you places. You stand out, you are unique, you're different. Um, some people may even call you weird. Um, be all of that because, again, who wants to be like everybody else? So, um, of course, you know that general understanding but then there's the specific um, someone sees you as strange out of the ordinary different from them um, different than anything that they've ever come into contact with and they've ever experienced it doesn't necessarily have to be a female this could be uh, um, a female seeing a male like this so just take it as it applies okay um, but you are unique, you're different, you stand out, you are not like anyone that this group of people or this person has ever met. You are, this could even be in a work environment, it doesn't have to be, you know, uh, uh, romantic in any sense. This could be in your work environment. Um, and unique and strange does not specifically mean you know your personality or um your habits or anything this could be from you know your background you could be the only person everybody in your um in your work environment could be uh from you know your the the state that you live in and you could be the only person that is from somewhere else okay um, this could also be um, uh, and it, it happens because you know in the work environment that I am in um, you could be the only black person in your work environment or vice versa you could be the only white person or what have you you could be the only ethnicity in a work environment and um, you are unique you stand out not necessarily um, strange you're just different in that way okay so um, be your unique self be your weird strange auspicious self it works for you trying to be someone else mimic imitate someone else takes it's, it's, it's an insult to God. Think of it like that. God made you specifically how you were designed to be. And then to fit in or not seem strange or out of the ordinary or to be normal, you start acting like everybody else in your environment. And God's like, that's not what I sent you to do. That's not what I created you for. So, rather than, you know, insulting your creator, why not be the exact 
being person energy that you were created to be. So be that, do that, own it. All right, all right. So. Let's get some messages. Somebody, somebody likes that you're different, so, and the thing is, is they may not even, they may not even say it, but they do, they do very much like it, and they're very much attracted to it, all right, what else do we have, God? what else do we have? this deck. I don't think I'm supposed to use this one. Ah, I guess I am. Because there it is. Tower. Something surprising. Something um, shaking some stuff up. This is shock and awe. Whew. This is something that's going to come completely out of left field that you didn't even recognize, realize, or know was coming. Um, this could be you going about your everyday life and out of nowhere, your foundation is completely shaken. What you thought was, okay, for some, that for what you thought was being built on solid ground is absolutely not. And, uh, it doesn't mean that you are going through this alone because I'm, I'm looking at two people. But the thing is, is, is this, oh, now this could be a breakup. I'm getting that this could be a breakup. This could be something that happens out of the blue. Now, for one person, this is something that they've been contemplating. For another person, this could be something out of the blue. And then another scenario, this could be something else. Let's, let's, let's get some more. Let's get some more because, oh, dang. All right. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> someone is, oh gosh, okay, so we have the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the World, and the Eight of Wands. So, for me, this is that, this is that cliche of love at first sight. This was something that was not expected. Didn't see this coming, going about your everyday life, not knowing, you know, hey, what have you. And then, OMG, I see the um, person that, I'm, that I believe that I'm supposed to be with, that this person is um, happy, they are bubbly and full of life, self-sufficient. Efficient. Um, it's, it's they are whole and complete, and they make you feel whole and complete. Like you have found the one, the person. Um, this could also be you taking, having taken some action, and um, and you doing so, and you deciding to take this action and move forward some stuff starts to fall into place oh goodness this is I'm, I'm i'm also getting wow i'm also getting nuggets that this is a lot of suitors or a lot of communication something comes in out of the blue like you were again doing everything that you do when you do it how you do it and then out of nowhere there comes this communication there comes um, I'm hearing for some of you interviews like you're going on an interview and you knock this interview out of the water and you doing so brings in a lot of um, not just this isn't this isn't just abundance the world isn't just abundance 
this is something that you have been completely it's like it's like the skies have parted it's like God said okay you've done some stuff you've completed some things and now I'm getting ready to send you what you asked for and it's just like pew 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 everything coming at you at once I like this let's keep going okay I am now hearing um, SWV week so either you are weak oh goodness now I'm hearing weak at the knees um, I gotta look that up because I don't remember who 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 sang that one uh, weak at the knees hold on we have SWV week and then we have weak in the knees Week in the Knees is by uh, Steve Arrington. Whoo, y'all! Yeah, this is. I like this. This is some. This is some fire for you. This is some fire for you. And of course, take it as it resonates for you. Four of Wands. This is goodness y'all I don't know who this is for and uh, your girl wants to claim it for herself just a FYI but this is celebration this is stability this is you know um, this celebration here looks like a wedding a marriage a collaboration coming together it doesn't necessarily have to be a wedding this could also be um, getting that job that you wanted or your business taking off that's what that's what this is that's what this could be out of nowhere your business or whatever it is that you have been working on taking action on just takes off you start getting the calls you start getting the requests you are you go from overlooked to overbooked kind of energy this is Ah, I like it. It's wands. It's action. This could be someone towards you, okay? This could be someone towards you. Someone sees you as um, attractive, a go-getter, happy within yourself. Truth on facts. Ace of Swords. Truth on facts. Now, this is... I don't see any... Um, let's let's clarify some stuff. Let's get a little bit more. Um, I don't see any pinnacle cards, but we're going to use the Tarot of Sexual Magic just because I'm curious. Because this feels like a lot of fire, a lot of passion, action. Um, tower does not have to be a bad thing. All right. So let's let's see. What is this? Oh, this is the Hermit card. This is somebody looking at you from a distance or remembering something about you, remembering the times that you shared together, that you had together, and they are not so happy about it. Let's see what else. This is, this is something happened and went into Hermit mode. Shock, awe, and surprise. Went into hermit mode. But this person still has a flame or has a torch for you. You could be in a new relationship with someone else. You and this person broke up and they see you now happy with someone else. What is this? Ooh, Ace of Cups. Y'all, look, I just work here. Ace of Cups. This is clarifying that this here action card. Somebody is in love. Like, infatuation? Yes. But this is the whole cup. This is the whole cup of love. And it's not just you 
you know, by yourself or one person. This is you and someone else completely uh, involved, I will say. Completely involved. Yeah, I don't know where all this love stuff is coming from. I really don't, but I like it. All right. That was a whole lot of cards. And since they didn't turn upright, I'm not going to take them. What is this Four of Wands? What is this Four of Wands? Okay. Let me see. Did something turn over? No. Okay. Four of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. There's that pinnacle. There's that grounded energy. This person is completely done. And from the looks of it, you are not giving, if you are a feminine, you're not giving this masculine the time of day. You are busy. You are working. You have things to do. But they see you as the, the one. There is no other. There is no other. What's under here? Eight of Wands. This was this this Eight of Wands. This there's a lot of this Eight of Wands is um, not just divine communication, getting things from from God and movement. This is telepathic communication between two people. Yep. This Eight of Wands is, oh goodness, I am hearing a stairway to heaven. Stairway to heaven. This is no plaything. Um, this is this right here is, is telling me that this could be something from your past that um, had to go through some some shifts and changes had to go through some shifts and changes but there has always been that energetic pull that energetic communication truth on facts this comes across to me as god having severed something in order for there to be truth understanding and clarity when it comes to 3D stuff and spiritual stuff. This is just that all around world truth straight no chaser. This is truth on facts. Oh my gosh. That for some of you this is confirmation that you have been communicating with someone on another realm another plane you're you know what you know you feel what you feel and this could not just be during your waking hours this could be in, during your, your sleeping time when you're dreaming so what else is that seven seven of cups under the bottom this is yeah this that's a lot of woo that's a lot of um Telepathic communication is this all is all I'm getting is telepathic communication. Y'all. What y'all been Lord? Well, God has been opening up uh gifts and clearing things and shifting things and um more of us are waking up to our spiritual calling, so it could happen. It could very possibly well happen. All right. Let's get an advice card from Divine, from the Spirit Animal messages. And we close this out. two queens out here but this is just one this 
what I'm getting is representing one person. You are, they, you're fine as hell and you're secure. All right. All right, it went flying. I had this issue yesterday trying to pick these things up. Okay, here we go. We have card number six, Beaver Spirit. Lay a solid foundation. Whatever this was, whatever this starts starts out as, it comes through out of nowhere. It is up to you because this was being, this is you, this is tearing up, I'm, I'm getting the tearing up the soil. Some of you could be building a house. You could be building your own house. And this is you in your house, ready and prepared. doesn't always have to be you know woo woo all right but this is lay a solid foundation a beaver works hard to um, make sure that their home is secure so work hard to make sure that your home is secure for some of you you might have to pull back and collect yourself and get some things together work on you and then come back as the badass that you are lay a solid foundation let's see what's under here what's under here ah card number two antelope spirit life is speeding up this is more of that eight of wands energy y'all they're, they're just, oh my gosh. There's a lot of communication, movement, and action happening. Or you've done this. You've taken things into your own hands and done the work, put in the, the work, put in the action, and land this solid. Ooh. So you've been praying. You've, you've prayed. You have manifested. You have petitioned and now the real work begins laying the foundation of what you do want alright I'm going to leave it there because that's fantastic that's a lovely reading that's so much better than what we had yesterday because yesterday whew, had my whole heart and soul just like what in the world but anywho alright Nuggets I love y'all please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. I love you. Um, signs that we can be dealing with. It's big Scorpio energy here. Big Scorpio energy before we close it out. Scorpio, um, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Ooh, goodness, y'all. Aquarius. I'm missing one. Virgo. Yep. All right, Nuggets. I love y'all. I love you from my soul. And I send you all blessings and light. Take care.